from In Exteriors Painters and Decorators and you're watching In Exteriors TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a door set. And what I mean by a door set is both sides of the frame and both sides of the door. Also, if you're planning on doing any decorating projects, please feel free to check out my tool store. The links are in the description below. With that said, let's do this! The brushes of choice for this task is a 2 inch synthetic paintbrush, a 2 inch synthetic angle paintbrush and a 15mm synthetic sash brush. This is the door set that we're going to be painting. It does have a chunky frame on it but that doesn't matter, you paint every door set the same way. First of all I put a screwdriver in between the door and frame so the door can't shut. Then we start off by painting this door edge. Then with a damp cloth I just wipe either side of that door edge just so we don't get any fatty edges. Then I paint about 8 inches above the door on the left hand side. Then I paint the left hand leg of the frame. I use my sash brush to cut in any edges and to get into where the like round profile bits are on this frame. Then I use my 2 inch paintbrush to paint the main bits of the um, frame. Or Archidrive, it depends what you want to call it. The paint that I'm using for this is a water based acrylic primer undercoat and synthetic brushes are best for water based products. If you'd like to purchase some of the similar paint brushes please check out the links in the description below. This is where I like to use the angled paintbrush because the brush just fits into the moulding and the angles of the moulding. It's just better than having the straight brush because the angled brush just goes into the corners really well and it's good for laying off. And then I just use the two inch brush to do the faces and then if you notice again I just wipe around the edges to stop any fatty edges. Then with my normal 2 inch paintbrush, I paint the centre upright. So I paint the top centre upright and the bottom centre upright. I then paint the middle cross section. From there I go to the top and paint the top cross section. Then I bring either side down. First I bring the right side down. And then I bring the left side down and I bring it just past the centre cross section. And also when I'm laying off, I'm laying off in one big move. So I'll basically go from the top all the way past the middle section. So it's one continuous run. Next I paint the bottom right down section. Then the bottom left down section. Then I pull the sheet away and paint the bottom up to the tile floor. Now there's a nice gap there up to the tile so I'm able to cut it in but if that was carpet I would put some lining paper underneath it because this is a hard tile floor I know if I did get it and it's water based it would wipe up easy. What I've done here with this door is put a wedge underneath it so the door doesn't move and doesn't open any further so when we come to paint it it's still. So what we're ready to do now is paint this part of the frame. So we're starting off with the top section but we only paint it up as far as the door stop so we paint that little thin lip of the door stop in because that's what's classed as this side but we're painting both sides. Then I'll do the right hand side of the frame and again only painting it up to the lip of the door stop. What I forgot to mention at the beginning is that I've took all the door furniture off because you don't want to get paint on the door furniture so it's always good practice to take all the door furniture off like handles and keeps. If you would like to know how to paint a door with a foam roller please feel free to check out the card in the top right hand corner of the screen.
Okay then, that's this side painted. Time to move on to the other side of the door set. Right, next I paint the top section of this frame. And this time I don't just paint the lip of the door stop. I paint the hole underneath part of the door stop as well. Then I paint the left hand side of the frame in. Again, painting the face of the door stop in as well, not just the lip, because we painted just the lip on the other side. If you're planning on doing some decorating projects and you need some tools, please feel free to check out my tool store. The links are in the description below. Right now all we need to do is paint the right hand side of the frame and cut in the back edge of the door around the hinges. This is where the 15mm sash brush comes in really handy because it's really good for these tricky little tasks of getting in and around the hinges. If you'd like to know how to paint a bedroom from start to finish, please feel free to check out the card in the top right hand corner of the screen. All that's left to do is to paint this side of the door and we just simply repeat the same process of what we did when we painted the other side of the door. And that is how to paint a door set. If you've got anything from this video, please like, share, subscribe, please hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of any future videos, and please feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.